Good morning. My name is Doug Briggs. I work with Bay Maples. I'm the primary gray water installer for them. And uh, today we are putting in a, an aqua loop system. I really, really like this unit. One of the things it does do is it cleans up water to a degree that you can then store it and use it for any number of things like overhead irrigation if you wanted. Um, we don't really promote that kind of irrigation, but you can do that. Something we do do with this water is um, we send it back into the house for flushing toilets, and we would like to send it in to use in the washing machine again. We've not yet found a client who wanted to go that direction, but uh, I believe you can. So this is really the heart of the unit. I have my tank here, and there is a pure rain filter. The water comes in this way. There's a very fine mesh right in here, and that's going to trap any sort of soap scums and hair and whatnot and keep it out of our tank. The water then just passes down through there. The other thing that you probably cannot see, but there is a little piece right here, and a hose will plug, on, plug into that, and periodically, water comes on and shoots a hard stream to get that to flow this way and it will flow out of the tank and go to waste. This in here is a little backflow preventer. And so once any hair or waste gets in here, it's trapped in there and it will go out back into the sewer. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole right in here and in down in our tank, I'm going to put in this sludge pump and uh, I'm going to put in this sludge pump and periodically it will take any sludge that's accumulated on the bottom of the tank, pump it into here, and so that will just then be flushed out to waste. We are going to put this material in the tank and we will have a blower going down into the bottom of this unit. And the blower aerates um, the water fairly, almost constantly. It's typically on for about 15 minutes and then off for five. And so you have a continuous aeration cycle going and uh, microorganisms grow and start to eat the soap and biology and whatnot that you would find in the water. And so this is actually becoming a mini wastewater treatment plant at your house. Um, this device, <coughs> the water is sucked in. It's sucked in through these cartridges, and these cartridges have a very, very fine membrane in them that really filters out almost everything. And it um, would then just suck up and come out of here and send water to our storage tank. And like I said, that water is just stored and can be used primarily for irrigation, but you could use it for some other purposes. So the pump on my little cartridge unit is going to pump to here. This is a 420 gallon rain tank. It will pump up here and the only thing we will, we will have two things in here. One is a float valve that is going to tell the system when this is full so that we won't continue pumping and just spill over the side. And second, we are going to have an autofill valve in this tank. What the autofill valve will do is we are going to tie that to two 5,000 gallon rain tanks that are on the other side of the house. And when this gets low, um, that autofill valve will open and it will fill with rainwater so that we make sure that we have adequate water for irrigation. We will be coming out of here, and I'm going to put in a pump right here, and um, that pump will be tied into the irrigation system, 
and it will behave just like any other irrigation system would. When the irrigation controller says irrigate zone one, the valve at the valve box will open, my pump will kick on, and we will be able to irrigate. Once we tie into our irrigation pipe, um, it will run to a number of different um, valve boxes that are positioned around the house. The one on this side of the house, of course, is irrigating all of these raised beds, these fruit trees, these beautiful maples. This is really the <clears throat> where the uh, rubber hits the road on these systems. This, this piece will be capturing water from the master bathroom that's coming down this pipe. It will <clears throat> turn and come over to here where I have a three-way valve set up. And this is a actuator that will, the wiring will run up through the floor and into a bathroom that's just above us. This allows the water to either go straight out the wall to our gray water unit, to the aqua loop unit, or to be diverted this way behind me where it will come and run down this pipe over here back into the sewer. So we will run this wire up through the floor and into a vanity in the bathroom that is just above me. We'll have a little switch in that vanity that says gray water or sewer. And so if you were doing something like bleaching your hair or using bleach in your washing machine, and it was something that you didn't want to go out to the landscape, uh, you can just flip that switch and it will block the outlet going to our gray water system and run the water back this way so that it would just come around and go back down the sewer. And so it allows you to, you know, function as you normally would. You're not just um, wedded to the gray water system. You can see there is a T here. Um, the other side of the T is going to go out the wall and will capture the overflow coming from my tank. I also have a backflow preventer right here. So if the sewer backs up and it backs up this line, it will stop right here and I won't get any sewage um, backing up into my gray water unit. If we had a problem, say the pump malfunctions or something, and we don't get our three-way valve turned in time, <clears throat> the system is designed to just overflow and um, you know, go back to the, the sewer. And so there would be no problems with the tank overflowing you know, onto the ground. And this is the switch for our three-way valve. Um, I'm just going to mount this right in here. We will label one side of it sewer, the other will be gray water, and then merely by toggling, you can get the water going whichever direction you, know, you need it to go.